Yep, it's so fun sometimes. What should I do? What the hell should I do? <laughs> There's like so much, like so much. Excuse me, what? I didn't really like it. Hello everyone, so today I'm going to destroy my upper body and train like the one and only Chris Hamster and let me tell you, train like a Thor, he, his routine is just like, oh my gosh, like really, like I, I watched the whole video explaining his routine and I was like, whoa, there is only mostly upper body, like four days are upper body days and the rest of, and one is only lower body, I was like, what, really? I mean, okay, look at his physique, it's like incredible, but like, what? Okay, let's die. It's really hard for me to decide what to do, and the music also is like a little bit like loud, because I don't know if I should do chest, or should I actually do shoulders, and it's like, what should I do? What the hell should I do? <laughs> because there are like eight sets. Eight? Excuse me, what? When I was warming up, I just decided now is whatever I'm going to do shoulders, but yeah, like eight sets of uh, bench press. That's like what? Like why? For example, I can't really like push as much weight as I want to because it's so many like sets. So I was going really light on the first literally six sets because like oh my gosh! And afterwards, when I was doing basically the last two three sets i was doing with my working weight usually on what i usually do on bench press and literally it felt so heavy like okay these ones that you are seeing right now they were like yeah they were fine because like i mean there was a really really light weight but afterwards it was like why just why why so many sets so not necessary i feel like like eh? like what And I wanted to talk about, it's okay to fail, it's literally okay, because gym is to get yourself stronger, to become stronger, and without failure, you can't grow. If you never fail, how will you ever grow? Like, you, you need to accept failure, because that's the only way you're growing, improving, and getting better at whatever you're doing. Not just gym, but in general, in life. Stop thinking, oh my gosh, what others are thinking about me in the gym. Uh, most likely, they literally don't even see you. They literally don't see you because they're so in their heads, thinking about themselves and thinking about how they're pushing the weight, what they are doing and how can they improve. I literally probably usually never really look around, only when I'm resting, but like, I don't look how heavy that person is lifting. Okay, sometimes I only see it when it's like really impressive weight and I'm like, whoa, that person is so strong. But like, we all have, we all are on, are on our own journeys. Like, it doesn't matter. The, what matters is that you're pushing yourself and you're trying your best. You're trying the best that you can every single day. That is the most important thing and nothing else. It doesn't matter literally how heavy is your dumbbell. It matters that if you feel that you can more, then try with more weight. And if it feels too easy, yeah, try with more weight. And it's too hard, think about it. Is it worth to like push yourself and then get injured? Or it's fine and you're pushing yourself till failure. That's what I usually do. I try to push till failure because I don't know, I like challenging myself and I love growing and getting stronger. I love improving and just proving to myself that I can. Because you can. There isn't such a thing you can or you can't. It's just you want or you don't want. There always are options. And yeah, this angle isn't the best. Also, this was my first time doing this movement, this exercise. It was really interesting, weird. Yeah, and also so many reps, like 15 reps. Uh, so that's why I did kind of light again. So who is Chris? He's Australian actor and he got popular because of the Marvel movie Thor and his net worth is more than 76 million dollars. 
He actually started his acting career as a so in soap operas and he had to gain 20 pounds to play for the Thor. In 2019, he actually launched a fitness app called Center to like become and show people how to become stronger, eat better and all of that, which is so interesting and I didn't have any clue about it. And also, I don't really watch Marvel movies, <laughs> but whatever. Let me know, do you watch Marvel? Are you a fan of it? What is your favorite series or what's your favorite superhero, whatever? Like, I'm really curious because I don't really watch it. And if I would have to like say my favorite from Marvel would maybe be Spider-Man. How basic, I know, right? <laughs> but in other ways, I don't know. I really like like romance <laughs> or something else, but I think it's still interesting, it's really cool, and yeah, me literally wearing Stranger Things shirt, <laughs> yeah, that, that I totally love, but in other ways, again, this was my first time trying this exercise, so I'm probably doing it wrong, but I did enjoy it. Okay, the eight sets of this bench press was like so much, like so much, but actually it didn't bother me that much as I thought it's going to be, I was like, okay, fine i did it i pushed through it and then the next exercise was incline uh, shoulder no but bench press with dumbbells i didn't really like the incline thing but whatever i overall i really did like it i liked in uh, trying one new exercise that those flies because those are like for chest whatever whatever i like training upper body upper body upper body is amazing this was really like not so time consuming workout it wasn't like oh my gosh literally what the hell is that like so, some other people train like for three hours or two hours or like i don't know five so how much cardio or, or i don't know what so overall i did really enjoy it and i definitely can recommend it like what yeah so i decided to do another of his workouts to make this video more interesting and more like variations of his workouts and not just one so at the start it was um, dumbbell no but barbell overhead press aka military press and let me tell you seven freaking sets seven freaking sets is that okay i don't think so but basically you're like uh do more weight with less reps basically increasing the weight and decreasing the reps i couldn't really increase that much weight because i couldn't lift more but i did increase it during the sets i was definitely struggling but like seven sets um why just why and then it was shrugs barbell shrugs i've never done shrugs before I don't know it was like kind of really weird movement for me i don't know i didn't really like it because i felt like my spine my neck was so like so like i don't know like so I, I can't explain it but it was so focused no but like so contract i don't know how to explain it it was not so comfortable that's just what i'm saying and then it was arnold press i do like this exercise a lot it was okay because it wasn't like 7 billion sets <laughs> like the previous things but uh, it was 4 sets, 12 reps, that's what, what I usually do not billion sets <laughs> And then the last three exercises were basically lateral raises. So at the start it was these lateral raises uh, and then it continued to front raises. I try to not swing myself too much even though it looks like I'm swinging myself. Obviously I filmed these clips on my last set. What a surprise. But yeah, I try to kind of contract it, everything and not swing too much. Like too much, you know what I mean. And... Uh, like it was four, no, three sets of 15 reps. I actually kind of supersetted it, these two exercises together to save time. And then it was rear delt flies. I've actually also haven't like done this extra in this movement, like seating. I didn't really enjoy like seating, it felt not the best. So I decided to just do the other sets, two sets like this, because it was more comfortable for me. And that's just what I personally prefer i don't know what about you but this just felt more okay with me <laughs> 
So I just came home from that shoulder isolation, basically shoulder isolation one-on-one -on -one workout. I mean, it was supposed to be like that, so shoulders, so focused, uh, but I would give it like 7 out of 10 just because like three of the exercises were basically lateral raises in different type of variation. Lateral raise, lateral raise, lateral raise. So it's like... Uh, it, I could include more of something else, but uh, in other ways it was pretty okay, it was pretty good. I mean, after that workout you saw previously, the chest one, my chest was definitely hurting, like it, it was like sore afterwards, so probably uh, tomorrow my shoulders are, will be sore too. Not looking forward to that, but I mean, whatever. Yeah. So I really hope you enjoyed trying his workouts and let me know, comment down below, what celebrities workout should I do next? Like. I don't know, Kardashians, whatever, like crazy athletes or whatever else because I love trying out new workouts, I don't know about you, but like changing, switching something up, it's so fun sometimes, sometimes uh, so yeah, don't forget to like this video because when you're liking these videos, I know that you actually enjoy and actually watch my content that's the same goes for commenting because whenever there's no comments, I'm like people don't watch it don't like it so yeah be a good person let me know that and see you in the next video oh, but that's not that you Bye. mean it the walls are caving in and it leaves more feelings but the only one that matters is i won't be defeated uh, don't keep talking pray that i lost it